Less than half of a record 32 million eligible Hispanic voters are expected to participate in the presidential election. Get on your side, Jennifer Pinate is here with what's being done to remove obstacles in the way. Yeah, Jen, language barriers, misinformation, not knowing the voting process. They're all reasons that could stop someone from voting. Statewide campaigns and grassroots efforts are now looking to change that this year. Almost 20% or the full electorate and 13% across the country. Latinos are expected to be the largest minority group to vote in a presidential election for the first time. A significant moment that has Samuel Santiago leading uh, Paluego Estar de Vota. Uh, closing the information gap that we've seen in our communities. The reality is, particularly with Spanish-speaking voters, Research shows that uh, they're overwhelmed. Pew Research found 51% of Latino immigrant voters are proficient in English. Loosely translated to the sooner the better vote is completely in Spanish. The campaign, launched by several nonprofits, encourages Latinos to vote early and vote by mail. It offers videos in Spanish explaining the voting process and hotlines where you can call with questions and concerns. We want to make sure that the Latino community knows that they can uh, cast their ballots in a safe and secure, in a safe, secure, and easy way in this upcoming election. More than half of Latinos polled by the group Latino Decision said they had not heard from anyone about voting in the general election. Here in Tampa, groups are doing what they can. A Democratic group pushing for Joe Biden has mobilized. Elio Mueller with Casa Biden is the director and helps distribute packets with voting information completely in Spanish. We're instructing them as to how to get their uh, vote by mail ballots. On the right, Vanessa Anderson created the new Tampa Republican Club to empower Latinos to get involved in politics. We've been going door to door canvassing, we've been doing phone calls. A critical mission at a time the Latino voice is only getting louder. And you have less than an hour and a half left to register to vote. Because the online registration website crashed last night, the state extended the deadline to 7 tonight. Jennifer Pignate, 8 on your side.